Today we're going to talk about the correlation between hearing loss and Alzheimer's and dementia. Every family that is touched by Alzheimer's disease knows how it can take over the lives of the people that have it. Over the years, researchers at Johns Hopkins have studied how hearing loss influences cognitive decline. In each case, they meet with seniors and tracked ones developed Alzheimer's and how quickly the disease progressed. The people with hearing loss had a higher rate of dementia. In 2013, Dr. Frank Lynn with Johns Hopkins and his colleagues tracked the overall cognitive ability, including concentration, memory, and planning skills of nearly 200 2,000, excuse me, older adults whose average age was 77. After six years, those who began the study with a severe hearing loss, enough to interfere with conversation, were 24% more likely than those with normal hearing to see their cognitive abilities diminish. Essentially, researchers said hearing loss seems to speed up age-related cognitive decline. A 2011 study involved Lynn and his colleagues monitoring the cognitive health of 639 people who were mentally sharp when the study began. The researchers tested the volunteers' mental abilities regularly for 12 to 18 years. The results were striking. The worse the initial hearing loss was, the more likely the person was to develop dementia. Compared with the people of normal hearing, those with moderate hearing loss had tripled the risk. Lynn is quick to point out that simply being at increased risk does not mean a person is certain to develop dementia. Sounds has the power to stimulate the brain, which is why hearing loss has the potential to have a profound effect on health, especially among older adults. A 2011 study in JAMA, which is a journal, uh, journal of adult medicine, found those with mild hearing loss had nearly twice the risk of developing dementia compared to people with normal hearing. Those with moderate loss had three times the risk and those with a severe loss had five times the risk. There were about five million people in the United States living with Alzheimer's and related dementia in 2014. About 1.6% of the U.S. population, according to the CDC. The number is expected to grow to 13.9 million, or roughly 3.3% of the population by the year 2060. Dr. Nicholas Reed, an audiologist at Johns Hopkins, stated that if you break down what hearing is, it is a major component in our ability to connect with the rest of the world. That's a, pretty, that's a pretty good statement right there. Let's listen to that again. Dr. Nicholas Reed states, our hearing is a major component in our ability to connect with the rest of the world. Reed's study is looking at the potential of hearing treatment to reduce cognitive decline in older adults. It's the kind of research that could make a difference in the quality of life older populations for generations to come. Reed says, while existing research hasn't definitely concluded whether hearing aids can help, he thinks many of us believe that most likely hearing care does help. Links between hearing and health. Hearing loss may contribute to a faster rate of atrophy in the brain. That statement is by Johns Hopkins. Hearing loss also contributes to social isolation. You may not want to be with people as much, and when you are, 
you may not engage in conversations as much as you once did. These factors contribute to dementia. As you walk, our hearing plays a part in our balance also. We discussed that a couple weeks ago. But as you walk, your ears pick up sounds or cues that help you with balance. Hearing mutes these important signals if you have a hearing loss. It also makes your brain work harder just to process the sounds. The uh, subconscious multitasking may interfere with some of the mental processing needed to walk safely. Hearing and misconceptions that may hold you back from getting your hearing checked. Can hearing aids help with these risks? Absolutely. What we do is known, what we do know is that there is no downside to using hearing aids. They help most people who try them and in those people they can make a difference in the world, allowing people to re-engage with friends, family, and to be more involved again. The next question may come up, my hearing's not that bad. Hearing aid users wait an average of 10 years before getting help for hearing loss. During this time, communication with loved ones become more difficult and isolation and health risk increase. The studies emphasize just how important it is to, proact to be proactive in addressing any hearing declines over time. Wearing hearing aid means I'm old. I'm not ready for that. It's not normal to feel worried about your hearing loss and want to hide it. There are a lot of people with hearing impairment that sit silently rather than journey, joining in conversations and activities because they fear that hearing people, hearing problems will make them seem helpless or less competent. The truth, connecting with others can help your brain stay younger and help you be more involved with life. Another question that might arise, I don't like the way hearing aids look. And hang on one second, because I want to show you how small they've gotten. You remember a long time ago, we had those real big honking hearing aids. Well, today's hearing aids have gotten very small. And as you can see, I want to turn it around. It's very little. And, you know, it looks big right here on the camera, but it is very little. The next question that might come up is, I heard that hearing aids are hard to use. Well, folks, basically, hearing aids, if they're set right for you and you're taught how to take care of them, they're not that hard to use. It's very simple. And a lot of hearing aids today, you just put them on and go. They do everything for you. There is a breaking in period. It's basically just like when you get glasses. And if you wear glasses, you know that when you get a new prescription in your glasses, it takes you about a week or so to get used to that. And it's actually your brain taking that time to get used to it. It's the same with our hearing. The hearing aids, it takes your brain about a week to two weeks to get used to it. This allows time for your central auditory system and the brain to adjust to life with hearing sounds that it's forgotten. And this is the time and why that most companies and us, we also offer a trial period. We know it's gonna take time for you to just take time to hear those sounds that you haven't heard. All we know is that people who tend to have hearing loss tend to have more dementia. And that's just based on the studies that I've told you just a few here today, there's multiple, multiple studies on this. It doesn't mean that hearing loss is causing the dementia. It doesn't mean that dementia is causing the hearing loss. What we need to do, folks, we need to feed our brain sounds. 
we don't want our brain to forget how to understand those vowels and those consonant consonants. A, a simple thing that I tell my patients here uh, when I give them an example, say it's a husband and wife and the husband's finally gotten the wife in the door and I tell the husband when I'm explaining this to them, I say, it's just like in the mornings if your wife's cooking you breakfast and she says to you, honey, do you want some toast with your coffee? And you sit there for a minute and you just kind of think about what she said because you're really not sure. Then you say, we can't go to the coast today. And nine times out of the 10, that's happening in their kitchen. And they laugh about it and they know that what I just told them is happening. That's what we're talking about here, folks. Our brain forgets. So we need to keep that sound coming in strong and keep it there. A couple more little informational parts. There are nearly 27 million Americans age 50 and older that have hearing loss and only one in seven use hearing aids. That's a lot. That's how that Alzheimer's and that dementia is getting those numbers up there. So if you think that you or you know a loved one that you might could convince to come in has had some hearing that has been diminishing over time, it's worth getting a hearing check for. And here at Mountaineer, we offer a free hearing check. We have several different locations. You can give us a call here in Conover at 828-469-6068. And we'll be happy to get you on the schedule for a hearing evaluation and just see where you're at. I look forward to seeing you. Until next week, thank you.